So I'm noticing in the book that on page 16 it's talking about inference, and it seems to me like it's kind of glossing over a little bit. But I think it's really important to note that when you infer something, so you take a sample and then you make an inference or you infer about a larger population, that you really have to be careful about that. How you collect your sample is a really big deal, and who you sampled is a really big deal. So if I just go around my high school and I just ask some students some questions and that's my sample, I can only infer that to maybe, and that really depends on my sampling techniques, but maybe I can infer that to the larger population of that school. I cannot infer that to other high schools and certainly not to high school students in the United States. So if I want to make an inference about high school students in the United States, then I have to take a random study of high school students in the United States. So it, it, to me, it's, it's just really sticky as a lot of times we want to try and make inferences and bigger assumptions well beyond the sample that we did. So who you sample is the, is the only population that you can potentially infer to.